Hi everyone, Luis Perez here with a quick tutorial for the iBooks app. And in this tutorial I'm going to cover version 2 of the app which added support for the new interactive textbooks for the iPad uh, in the iBooks format that you can create with iBooks Author. In this video I'm going to focus on some of the uh, annotations that students can add for a more active reading experience. This includes highlighting, underlining, and notes. highlight the text, tap and hold with one finger, and then once you get the magnifying glass, just drag across with your finger, whatever's underneath your finger will be highlighted. You can tap on the highlighted text again, and then you can change the color. So you can choose from any of five different colors. You can also change the highlight to an underline by tapping on the icon with the letter A on it. And so now instead of a highlight, I have an underline. And then to remove any of the annotations here, you can tap on the icon with a red line through it. And so that gets rid of the highlighting or underlining. Now you can also add notes. Uh, the first thing you'll need to do to add a note is make a highlight, or in this case an underline, because that's the last thing I had selected. Tap on it, and then tap on the notes icon. type in the desired text and then when you're finished just tap anywhere else on the screen and that will dismiss the note. Now you'll know a note has been created because there's a small icon to the side. If you tap on that icon it will bring the note back up so you can edit it by tapping anywhere inside of it. Now notes are great uh, when using combination with the study cards feature that's now available in iBooks too. So I'll tap anywhere on the screen to bring up the controls at the top and then in the upper left hand corner I'm going to tap on the study cards icon. Uh, in the landscape orientation here on the left side I have a list of the different chapters and then a number that indicates how many annotations such as highlights, underlines, and notes I have uh, in that chapter. And then over on the right is the my notes view. This is where I see the actual highlights or our notes. I'll go ahead and tap on study cards and now I can start reviewing using the content that I've annotated. So uh, at the bottom in the lower right hand corner I have a swap or a flip icon and I can tap on that icon and it flips the card over. When I'm done I can tap anywhere on the card and it flips it back. And I can flip through these just like I would with any note cards. Now here I'm seeing not just my highlights and underlines and notes, but I'm also seeing uh, my glossary items. So uh, when this book was created I added a glossary in iBooks Author and so now those items are available as well. When I'm finished using the study cards feature I can tap on done a couple of times and then I'll be back in my book. iBooks also supports the speak selection and dictionary features that are now built into iOS. Speak selection provides text-to-speech while the dictionary allows students to look up on familiar words. So to use the speak selection feature in order to hear the text read out loud, you can tap and hold on any word and then you can use the blue handles here to drag a selection and the magnifying glass there or the loop allows you to be more precise and then when you let go you can choose speak. Features of iOS can be used in conjunction with the iBooks app to ensure students have equal access to ebook content. So that's the speak selection feature. Now if you just double tap any word and then you may have to tap on the arrow to see some of the other options. One of them is define. And define brings up a dictionary uh, definition in a popover window. And here you can see not only the definition, but other information such as usage, derivatives, and the origin. And then at the bottom, if you want to, you can search for this term on the web or on Wikipedia. Now, to dismiss the dictionary is really simple. You just tap anywhere on the page or on the screen, and that will dismiss the popover. So, those are two really neat UDL supports that are built into iOS and that are also supported in the iBooks app. In addition to the landscape view, there's a separate reading view which you can access by rotating your iPad so that it's in the portrait orientation. 
When you do that, the text becomes more important and the interactive content is pushed to the side. So in this view, the text is what is emphasized. Now you do have some options in this view. So if I tap once on the screen, I can get some text controls at the top or some text options. And here I can make the text smaller or I can make it bigger by tapping on each of these buttons. So these options um, allow the iBooks textbooks to, to function a lot like regular EPUB books in that the text will reflow as you resize it. So these uh, text options are only available when you have the iBooks textbook in the portrait orientation. Adding a bookmark may be helpful if there's a section of the book that is particularly difficult that you want to go back to do later in order to review it again. To add a bookmark in iBooks 2, tap anywhere on the screen to bring up the controls and in the upper right hand corner you're going to see an icon that looks like a ribbon. Go ahead and tap on that icon and then choose add bookmark. This will add a bookmark to that page. Now you can go anywhere else in the book then tap the ribbon again and you'll see a list of the bookmarks that you've added to your book and you can go to any other page that you've bookmarked by selecting it from this list and so now I'm back to the first page where I added the bookmark to remove a bookmark simply go to the page where you added the bookmark and you'll see a ribbon uh, at the top and then just tap on that ribbon and that will get rid of the bookmark. While iBooks textbooks are really easy to navigate, there's also a search feature that can save a lot of time when you're looking for a particular term in your book. So here I'm going to do a search. First thing I'm going to do is tap on, on the screen once and that brings up the controls at the top of the screen. And then I'm going to tap on the magnifying glass for search. Now here I'll see a list of recent searches but I can also type in a new word. I'll get some suggestions and then I can choose one of the words that has been suggested by iBooks. And then I'll see a list of pages where this word appears and I can go to any of those pages by selecting it from the list. Now not only can I search in the text but also if I've used the word in any of the captions for my media widgets it will also show that on this list. And then finally, I can also search for that term on the web or on Wikipedia. <music>